Welcome back into the Gators Online podcast, and we are now joined by our guest of the week, Florida Gators quarterback Jordan Young, joining us live from Spurs Gridiron Grill. Jordan, appreciate you joining us, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. We're going to get into a number of topics with you. Uh, We're talking before uh, we started about you guys getting into regimen now, um, you know, over with the discretionary period. So we'll obviously get into that. We'll obviously talk about spring ball as well. how has you know this offseason been for you? Uh, obviously, going back into you know the 15 practices that you guys had and kind of just getting used to this new staff and the new program. Oh, it's definitely been great. It's been different, and um, I love it. Um, I feel like everyone loves it. It's just a a great environment, good vibes. Um, everybody just determined and ready to work. Everybody just getting into it. Yeah, it's fun. No. It seems like everyone kind of bought in right away. Right away. With the new system, with the new program. What was it about Billy or about the other coaches that kind of made you guys, uh, I guess, just right away kind of buy in and, and believe in him? Um, It's just when they came in, they came in pushing their um issue just about getting us prepared for the season and just not just the season and not just football, but having us better as individuals. Yeah. And they actually – care about how we're doing and how we're living and just making sure everything is good as far as, you know, the the parking issue. They got that taken care of, our eating, um, just everything, just all around. They really care about uh, our well-being. How much was nice to get a parking spot? Oh, uh, it was real good. I was tired of those parking tickets. <laughs> how, many, how many of those little yellow envelopes did you I get? Had, I used to get some like every single day. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I had them every single day. I I was thinking about getting a scooter, but I, I heard that <laughs> people were getting them on the scooters too. Yeah, so, yeah, they'll, yeah they'll, they'll get your scooter now. Yeah, I, done, I, done, I paid a couple thousand dollars in parking Shoot. tickets. And that's that's I'm one of the people that had it the least. <laughs> yeah, wow. for sure. They don't play. Well, and, and as we've talked about this spring, I mean, that's kind of a great way for the staff to kind of win you guys over right away, like make a gesture like Actually. that to show that they care about you guys. Um, obviously, going through a coaching change, that meant a new position coach for you. When you found out that it was going to be Corey Raymond, what was your reaction and, and, and what's it been like kind of being able to learn from him and also Patrick Tony? Um, when I found out we were getting Raymond and um, Coach Tony, I first thing I did is like, just check their credentials. I researched them, just seeing how they were as coaches. I, I, I definitely called some people that I knew, and they clarified everything that uh, I was hearing. So I was excited to have him. Um, I met him out the bat. He was they they were very impactful. I I love Coach Tony and Coach Raymond. Like I've been knew him, and I just met him. So like, um, just everything that that they're teaching is just something I need. Yeah. Was it different at all? Like the just scheme wise from from your freshman year to to this new defense, I would say it's different. Um, just just how they teach things are different. Like everybody have their own way of teaching sure. things, and you got to like every coach. Like last year, I picked uh, Coach Crime Dog's brain. Um, this yeah. year, I'm picking uh, Coach Tony and Coach Raymond's brain. It's just you take pieces and bits and pieces from everybody, and um, so they definitely have different ways of doing stuff. What were some of the things that they came in and um, I guess identified with? with what they wanted to work on with you on your game and just kind of some of the things that they tried to improve on with you this spring? Uh, they didn't single me out individually. Like, they came in and worked with everybody and just sure. taught – he taught his techniques, with not just me, but with just all the corners and Coach Tony with all the safety. So, I mean, I wouldn't say me individually, but everybody, they just – they're te- pushing their technique and yeah. stuff like that, and it's, it's working pretty good. Now, obviously, Corey, you mentioned looking him up. He came here with quite the reputation. Mm-hmm. Um Getting a chance to work with him out there on the field, like his coaching style, what what is it about him that separates him and kind of makes him such a great coach? Um, he definitely well for one respect, like you can't do anything but respect Coach Raymond, like just how he goes about doing things, like you 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 can't disrespect Coach Raymond, like just no way, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Not that other coaches are disrespected, but like it's just he has a way about doing things and. Um, he really knows the game of football, and he preached that to us all the time about um, n- not being a dumb cornerback. Like, there should be no dumb cornerbacks. Like, you should not just know corner, but you should know every position on the defensive side of the ball and how things should go. Yeah. And that's a big um, impact on us. He seems young. Like, he, he's, he's a little bit older of a guy, but he seems like he, like, knows how to talk talk to you guys. Almost <laughs> like he talks the way that y'all talk. Yeah, you would think he's 20. <laughs> he's cool. And he can, like like he said, um, all, the, all the time, he can go out there and still do it right now. So. <laughs> you think he can? 
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. You saw the clip the clip on Twitter where he was out there uh, showing off his hands. Um, and I think, I think he'd lock down Kerry Colbert. Ooh, that'd be a good match. I love up. my that'd coach. I love my right? coach over Coach Colbert. You got, him? You got Corey over him? I love Raymond over Coach Colbert. Lock Kobe. him down. <laughs> All right. You heard it here first. <laughs> we need to make that happen. I got to go I gotta go at the defensive side of the ball. Uh-huh. Anytime. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, a guy that showed up in the, in the spring game was you. Um, mm. Orange and blue game was kind of a coming out party for you. Um, what did that mean for you to kind of have a performance like that, um, kind of with this new staff and just go out there and kind of show what you're capable of? Um, it meant a lot to me. It definitely, uh, it definitely meant a lot to me. I mean, being here last last year in the spring and fall camp, like I mean, I basically went and did what I did, um, made plays and stuff like that. But I never got to show the world or the fans or like how how I can do play or whatever like that. So being this year that we had a spring game and just going out there and basically doing the same thing what I love, which is playing football. So just going out there and. Just making an impact just definitely did something to me, and I can't do nothing but thank God. So, I, we don't, I don't think I, we really ask people this that much, but like in high school, you're the man. Like if you get to Florida, you're you're the guy on your high school team. What's it like to then not get the opportunity to play on Saturdays? Like you're still putting in the work in the weight room, you're still putting in the work on the practice field, but then you're just not getting reps. How do you handle that mentally? Um, it humbles you, definitely. Um, I mean, it can discourage you if you let it discourage you or it can push you to be better and do better. And um, I think that's a big thing from going from high school to college. But I feel like I cope with it well and now I'm just ready to get better and better because, I mean, you can never be your best. You always can get better. You mentioned how for a lot of fans, they, they got to see what you, you could do uh, on, on that spring game. A lot of the plays that you made, man, like the energy that you had afterwards, like you could see it on the field, um, just kind of you celebratory and kind of your your teammates feeding off that. Is that kind of what you feel like you bring to, to the game? And, and what are some of the strengths that you feel like you, you bring to the cornerback spot? I definitely feel like I bring uh, a lot of energy. I mean, every you guys, anybody on the team or just not even on the team, if you've been around me, you know that I'm a very uh, – playful and energetic person like I mean I, I feel like I bring energy wherever so I mean I definitely feel like I have a certain energy and swag that I bring gotta have it at DBU right mm -hmm, for sure <laughs> um and obviously you know spring wrapped up and it was the discretionary period for you guys where um it's kind of a, a time to take some vacation or take some time off uh which I'm sure you probably did but you also took an opportunity to get some work in. Uh, talk about the trip that you took out to Houston. Yeah, I went to Houston with uh, Anthony Richardson and Dejon Reynolds and uh, another good friend of ours from SMU. And we went out there. Yeah, we, we had a good time. We went shopping and stuff like that. But we definitely worked out. Um, we worked out with uh, a guy that works out a lot of top athletes in Houston and uh, we had a good time. We got some good work. <laughs> Real, we were really tired because Houston weather is totally different. I thought Tampa and uh, Florida was hot, but Houston is humid. <laughs> that, that different heat. Yeah, different kind of heat. No shade either where we worked out. So. <laughs> yeah, we experienced that when we went to the uh, the Michigan game in 2017. In Dallas, right? Yeah, it was my first time in the state of Texas. And I'm like, I'm, I'm used to it being hot, but that was a different type of hot. Where was that? Where's Texas Tech? What's that? I forget what it's called. Lubbock. Lubbock, yeah. Lubbock. Middle of nowhere in Texas. How far is that from Houston? Four, it took me, I, I flew into Dallas and it was a four and a half hour drive. Yeah. Oof. Houston, a big city. I wasn't expecting that. Like, um, everything's pretty, I thought Dallas was down the street. No, it's about three and a half hours. <laughs> like, stuff, yeah. That's I didn't, the thing about Texas. Like, you don't realize how big it is. Like, you're like, oh, Houston, Dallas, close to each other. Like, no. Yeah. No. How did that trip come about with you and Anthony and Dejan and you guys just deciding, hey, we're going to go take this time and enjoy Houston, but also make ourselves better? It actually happened on the fly. Like, Dejan already had planned on going out there and stuff. He he goes to Houston often. Like, he goes and works out there often. So. Sure. Um, and then I ended up flying there that Thursday because Tuesday was my birthday. So, I mean, I uh, stayed in Tampa on my birthday and stuff. And then Wednesday, Dejan called me like, man, come to Houston. Like, we get some work and we have a good time in Houston. I was like... Um, I was thinking about it, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna come to Houston. So I just came, and then Anthony uh, was like, he gonna come too, and we just ended up working it out, and we all came up there, and, like as Florida Gators, and got some work. Yeah, yeah, you got your quarterback, got a receiver, and a DB. I yeah. mean, you guys can do it all. Yeah. Um, 
and, and obviously getting a chance to, to work with the team. Um, you know, who are some of the guys at the receiver position you kind of look forward to lining up against and, and getting some work in? Uh, on our uh, team yeah. or just like yeah, uh, everybody. I mean, it's fun. It's fun guarding everybody. I mean, I love guarding uh, Dejan. I love guarding Dede because just because he's my roommate and we we always uh, go back and forth and talk crap. <laughs> so I, anytime if I let him like if he catch a slant or something like that, I'd be mad as I don't know what because I know he gonna talk crap. <laughs> and same way if uh, I lock him up, he he talking crap. So it's just well, I'm talking crap. So it's just like competition, but it's all love. Like that's my brother. So. But that's bragging rights at the apartment. Yeah, definitely. Man. Nah, it's bragging rights for sure. We definitely get home and, and talk like, and not we not gonna hear the end of it. Especially <laughs> that's that's my mindset. I can't let him make a play. He's not gonna hear the end of it. Like, What's don't that? let him get in the end zone. <laughs> definitely not. Well, since you bring him up, we're actually scheduled to have him join us next week. Um, and he was a guy like you that we heard some positive things about this spring. Um, yeah. Kind of standing out in practice. From your perspective, what has he done to kind of take his game to the next level this spring? Nah, dejan has been balling. Um, dejan has been making some big plays, big time catches when we needed him. He always had sure hands, even last year. Um, so he's definitely been doing good. I feel like, but not just him. I feel like all of the the um, redshirt freshmen or freshmen that was that was there last year in the twenty twenty one class sure. have been developing and 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 showing a lot as far as Justice Boone, Dejan. Um, even the transfer we got um, at running back tra uh, trail, yeah, um, it's just the, it, we're looking really good, and we just got to keep. We're a young team. We just gonna keep getting better and better. So I feel like who's the toughest guy to guard to guard on the team at receiver? Hmm. Toughest guy to guard. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I like a couple. I like uh, Is Xavier Henderson. He's pretty. He pretty uh, good at receiver. Um. Khalil, pretty good, uh, pretty hard to guard as well. Khalil Jackson, Gainesville, shout Khalil out. Khalil Jackson, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, uh, he he slept on, but he pretty he pretty good, um, pretty hard to guard. I mean, um, we got a lot. I I mean, I'll name everybody really because sure. everybody really um, are got their own way of doing things at receiver and can get open. Yeah. So I mean, I shout out to all our receivers. <laughs> <laughs> you played um, you played a lot of star last year. Has that mm -hmm. been different? Is it just different technique? Different. Kind of terminology, different responsibilities. Um, far as what different like playing now playing like outside corner instead of playing nickel or star. I mean, you play more off in star, and you mm -hmm. play more man uh, at corner. But I mean, I came in a man corner. Like I played pretty much man in high school. Um, you my had senior that mentality. Year. Yeah, like I like I like man. So, um, I don't think it's any harder or whatever. It's mm -hmm. just I feel like it's just nickel is off, um, man and. Uh, outside is press man, so I mean it's just working both. I work both in practice, so uh, I don't think it's okay. And now, obviously, you got we mentioned regimen. Um, what do you feel like the vibe is with the team? Everybody getting back from the break and just having the chance to kind of start working out again. Well, the first like when we got back the other day, we had a, a team meal with with everybody in the meeting. Uh, everybody was all just excited to see everybody, all laughs and giggles in the locker room and in the team meeting room. Everybody was ready to get back together and work. And then we had our first run yesterday, and everybody was just ready to work. Uh, getting back to it. I mean, it was definitely it was challenging the first day, uh, getting right back to it or whatever. But everybody got that determination in their mind to work. Like everybody. That's awesome. Well, it was probably good for you guys too because you uh, had a chance to run off some of that barbecue that you <laughs> on Saturday from the Fan Fest. Um, yeah. And for folks that didn't see it, Gator Collective had their annual, or excuse me, inaugural Fan Fest um, at a Touchdown Terrace. Over 200 fans that showed up on Saturday. I think it was 40 UF athletes that were in the building. Um, first of all, what does it mean for Gator Collective to? be putting on events like that for you guys and creating these NIO opportunities? And, and, and what was that like to engage with the fans like that Saturday? Uh, well, for one, Gator Collective has been doing a great job with um, the NIL opportunities. Um, it's definitely been fun. I mean, um, talking with the fans was fun too. I mean, a lot of the fans like, I mean, you could see them on social media and different stuff and hearing their point of view, but actually um, seeing them in person and just making a little girl or little uh, boy's uh, day, like just seeing uh, football players, just yeah. it brings joy to us. Um, we got to sign a lot of autographs and, well, a, yeah, a lot of autographs and different things like that and talk to a lot of people and everybody's just excited to see what we do this um, up and coming season. And a lot of people had a lot of questions that we were happy to answer. So it definitely was fun mingling with the fans and giving them the information they wanted to hear. And it's different too, because I mean, 
Nick and I coming up and being around the team for a long time, like for most fans forever, it was just fan day. That was about yeah, the only time you, you got a chance to interact with players, or yeah, unless you, you really wait after have, the stadium, yeah. after the game. That's true. You really didn't have opportunities like that. And, it, and it's like you said, it really does, like for that eight-year-old boy, eight-year-old girl, you guys are like superstars to them. They see you on TV and, and just the chance to talk to you, shake your hand, ask you some kind of question and get an answer. They're like, man, this is actually a person. You make their day. Yeah. Definitely. And not just little kids, but uh, adults as well. We got a lot of uh, adult fanatics that were uh, coming up, asking yeah. questions too, and having a signing, and we made their day as well. So, I mean, shout out to all the fans. It was definitely a, um, a great experience to mingle and talk to them. So, shout out Gator Collective as well. Absolutely. Well, as we wrap up with Jordan Young, I want to ask him a couple more topics before we let him run. This summer, obviously, uh, a really exciting thing happening on campus with the new facility opening up. How much are you and your teammates pumped about that, man, and, and just getting ready to move in there? Nah, we're pumped, definitely. Um, I I haven't yet to see a sneak peek, though, um, but I definitely want to see it so bad. I mean, I saw, I see it riding by every day, but I just want to get in there and just see the locker room and everything. I know that everybody going to be uh, excited, so I'm just ready to see how everything turned out and how it looks in the inside. I mean, I've been hearing we got, like, Lazy rivers and all type of mm -hmm. stuff. Like, I'm just really excited to see it. So, what type of impact do you feel like that's going to have on you guys? You know, the, the guys on the team now, and also attract other recruits and stuff that are going to see what Florida has to offer. Um, impact on us is definitely going to have a. I feel like it's going to have a big impact on us because it's like um, everything is new. Like it's it's a fresh start. I feel like for everything, like it's yeah. just time to just go out there and just be the Florida Gators again. Like just take everything over. So. Um, and then, of course, the recruits, you know how they, they see that and they're just like, wow, like for any anything, like even in my recruiting process, like just seeing different stadiums or whatever and just seeing what it has to offer. like So all of that is going to be a big part. So I'm definitely excited to see it. And obviously my favorite feature of the facility is the studio. Yeah. Um, how much are you looking forward to that? I know for folks that don't know. Um, I'm not the only one with bars in the room. Uh, you know. I'm the only one without them. Yeah, you are. I'm you the only one without them. Well, we don't know what Evan's working with over here, but uh, um, obviously, Jordan, you've done music for a lot of your life. Um, can you talk about that interest kind of off the field and, and how much it means to you to have you know an outlet like that and then have a place at the facility where you can do it? Yeah, um, I definitely I did music um, since I was five years old. Uh, wow. I. I mean, I stopped recently. I don't really take it serious that much, but I, I mean, I always can do it. I feel like I can I can write whenever I want. I mean, I play with uh, some of my teammates. Like, my teammates know I can rap. Like, we just chill and we just put on a beat and everybody rap and I get on it. So True freestyler? Yeah, true. I can freestyle. That's definitely fun. Don't put me on the spot. I got you. I got you. I'm going to go do it. Listen, we don't freestyle for free. We don't freestyle for free. But, uh, nah, it's de I'm definitely excited. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go in there for real, drop some music, but I definitely plan on going in there and just you got to bless fun. the studio once, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Some of, some of my teammates want me to do it, but yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. I, who, I can't wait to see it. Who else on the team? Yeah, who's rap? the best rapper on the team? I mean, I'm going to say me regardless, because I'm, but I mean, I never really came here and like made a song or something like that. I mean, there's people on the team that made, I mean, Anthony made a song, Gervon made some songs. I never made one, but I feel like I got the best bars though. But I mean, shouts out to them boys. I heard they doing pretty good. Well, we might have to settle this once the facility opens <laughs> up, you know? For sure. So that's awesome, man. Well, Jordan, we appreciate the time. Uh, we really enjoyed seeing you have that game uh, in the orange and blue game. And I'm, I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing or showing these fans a lot more of that, you know, this fall. So you guys make sure that you guys follow him on social media. We'll be back next week with his roommate, John Reynolds, uh, to hear how his offseason off has been going. We're going to jump to this break. We'll come back on the other side and wrap up the Gators Online podcast. Go Gators.